speaker box loud Hitting that stuff till you hearing that sound So there's a flagger. There's gonna be flaggers like up in the tennis court. And just because it's blind coming around the house, if you see them waving, you know, just kind of kill it. Um, obviously within reason, cause you're going up a really fast embankment. Um, I'm gonna do a sight lap obviously. For sure, thank you. Um, and then obviously we're running circuit again. I hope you've been paying attention to the maps. Yep. To get back to grid or exit, there's the two yellow poles in the turnover there. There's blue cones and then all of a sudden there's the two yellow like poles. That's your your way to get in and out. Okay. Just hold on for me here and make sure everything's clear to go. <laughs>
So update, it's leaking a bunch of coolant, started smoking. Basically I had a fitting from the power steering reservoir that chewed through the coolant line on the upper part of the radiator. And that just caused the um, coolant to just go everywhere. So guys from AutoZone down the street, they had a representative here who was ready to like run parts and everything. Got on the phone, found a hose that would work, just swapping it out. It was the last session of the day. So just gonna take my time, fix it tonight, drink some beers, get ready for tomorrow. So this is the fitting for the power steering. You can see right here, this little, this little guy rubbed through and made a hole right here and just spewed out everywhere. So we'll get it fixed up, I'm running tomorrow. Had a really awesome day, a ton of video footage and media coverage out here, but a lot of really nice runs with Christian, Brandon McDowell, bunch of awesome, awesome people. Danger Dan's here, we got some runs in. Good time.
just blew out third gear, uh, which is primarily what I was using out here. So I'm trying to use second, but it looks like we're gonna need to get a new transmission soon. <laughs> I think you hit him, I thought you escaped. He drove away and your finger is stuck in the back of it like a fucking knife, dude. Damn. Yeah, just a tie rod. You drift channel. lap out team of cars four cars three cars they parked in front of me while I was transitioning inside so got to do that and 
see how bad the fender is. So after bending it back and forth, it eventually just snapped, and this is what we ended up doing. Um, just welding the threads from one side to the other. So this will essentially just sit, drops, and that makes it straight now, uh, stronger there. I'm not gonna drift on it, I'm just putting it on the trailer, but um, it should be pretty strong. All right, guys, we are back in Florida. What an amazing event. I just want to thank a few companies and people real quick. Um, Grip Royal, uh, Mike and Scott from Grip Royal, they put this whole thing together and they were there. It was an awesome time, super nice guys. Um, they sent me my new wheel, which um, I'll, I put in the video here. And this thing is awesome. I had the same wheel previously in the vehicle, but now I've got custom etching on it with Drewski Drift and everything on it. So. They threw this whole thing together. They definitely want to do more in the future. Same with Drift Mansion. They want to do a lot more events in the future. I highly recommend it. This is an awesome track. One thing you don't see in the videos and pictures online is the amount of elevation change going on on that course. There is quite a significant difference from the front of the house to the back of the house. And all of that settling with your car going through transitions, it's a very different driving experience, especially here in Florida when all we have is just flat skid pads. Now, Obviously my sponsors, Silvers, uh, Kansai, Tire Stacks. Kansai was, uh, had a representative there as well. They were associated with the event. Um, there were a bunch of other sponsors that helped out with that event as well. They gave away some prizes, as you saw in the video here. Um, shout out to Christian Catrone. He helped me transport my Corvette up there. I did not use this trailer. Um, I used a big semi-rig that he coordinated with his car as well. Um, overall, really fun time. Kenda tires were putting in work. I was super fast on there. Um, not as fast as Brandon McDowell. He is super gripped up, but it was a good time. If you look down here in the trailer, I've already got a transmission put in the trailer. I haven't even gotten the car in my garage yet. I've already got a new transmission for it. Uh, thanks to Christian, he helped me source that. He already had one, so um, we're gonna get that built up a little bit and then we're gonna throw it back in the Corvette so that I can make it for a Pro-Am, which is in August. Make sure you subscribe, like the channel so you can keep up with all the footage that I'm gonna drop for that. Uh, thanks to John and Allison of the Drift Mansion, Little Talladega, they own that place. They were there as well. Super hospitable, very accommodating. They've got a ton of activities out there. Even if you were trying to rent an Airbnb just to drive their go-karts and crazy carts, paintball, gel blasters, ATVs, 4x4s, they've got it all out there. It's, it's a fun time. I wish we had time to have done all of the things that they have readily available for you at Little Talladega, because um, it looked like they had a lot of land, not just the drift track. Um, it's kind of the middle of nowhere, but you drive through everything and you can kind of just, you got free roam to do what you want. The house is beautiful. They've got a pool, basketball court, tennis court, like everything you can want to possibly want to do in a vacation, it's all right there. So really a drifter's dream. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share, subscribe. Thank you sponsors. And I really hope I get out there again. That was an awesome event, um, very special experience. And I'm stoked already to, to get it back out there. So thank you guys, catch you next time.